Hi guys, so I have some more um, Halloween and like Hocus Pocus um, themed stuff to share with you um, along with some other handmade goodies that are going in my Hocus Pocus swap I've been working on. Um, so first off, I want to share this altered spell book with you. This is one from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, I made a vellum and tool shaker for the front and back, stitched everything, a little pumpkin here is holding the thread because I wanted it to have a nice tie closure. I have an eyelet here and I have a tassel from Eva's shop on the side here on Instagram, which I'll leave in the description. I have some thickers down the side and I do have a little process video on this on my Instagram, like a quick little quick play video of me layering this. Um, I made a little shaker here. Um, this was one big die cut from Michael's. So I cut it in half, cut out the fence, added glitter, thickers. I have jemmies all over, little spider. This is a Jolie's boutique um, pumpkin. I have some seam binding and I have a gauze bow. I have some gathered ribbon. I did this embroidery on this felt um, bat. I have a spider web and some other ephemera layered. Um, another bat here with some glitter, foam, um, little thicker stars, a uh, bow from Vanessa. There's also a little rosette under here from Lori. Um, bows, a little felt spider, added glitter, accents. This is that top piece and I have a spider with some more of the thickers and bling. And then I have this little foam ghost sticker. And then I have a little bead dangle here, the pumpkin bead. I really love how this came out and there's a gift in here, so I'm not gonna open it, but really love how this came out. Then I have this little booklet, which I reused from someone who gifted it to me. I added a bunch of stuff. I added the bow, the little pumpkin. I added all these little enamel dots, the little bats here, and this bat sticker. I also added a tie closure to it. I like to reuse everything that people make me or use in swaps. And top, I just have some ribbon and some bows. And these are two of the crepe paper banks embellishments I made. It's um, gathered crepe paper. Um, and then I have like the gathered paper strips some tool and things in between and then like gathered ribbon and then this is actually a dye this cat it's the negative to a dye and it's on foam there's a witch hat on each with a little orange pom-pom it says binks i use different thickers and foam stickers um, i added the bells on all of them because you know it's a cat i thought collar um, this one has a little potion bottle they all have a bead dangle um, and then these little flowers are from Carrie and one of my little blingy spiders. And then there's this one, which is a little more like vintagey traditional. There's a little cat. Really love how these came out. So there's that piece. And then I made, I haven't packaged it up yet, but I made like a black flame candle. Um, and um, it does light up but I just thought it was like a little cute thing um, to do. And then I made a top or two go with it. So it's just layered doilies stitched. Renee Bouquet Butterfly, cute little ghosty, added all the glitter and it has the, you know, the quote, the spell for, um, to light the candle. And a little chipboard bat with a little pin with a little bead dangle. Um, and then I did, um, hey, I made a little cauldron to hold some sequins and glitter and stuff. So here's my little plastic cauldron. So I have spider webbing. I tied a bow. Um, there's a little skeleton hand charm hanging here. Um, and then I added my sequin mix and seed beads on top. And then I added the little cut up 
pieces from those necklaces and then I have some little bling butt spiders I added on and then as you can see there's some glitter this is a sequin mix and I have a little bead dangle there with some ribbon and then there's two more in here which I don't hopefully I can try to get them out there's oops there's this mix little bow on top and then if I can get the other one out and then there's this sequin mix oops which this is in a little um salt and pepper shaker from Dollar Tree and then I just added a little eyeball to it so they fit oops almost I drop everything they fit right into this um then I have this piece which this is actually a packaging to my phone screen glass protector so I saved the the plastic and uh, I used it to make packaging um, and so what I did was I cut out a bunch of these witches and the cats from the in glitter and specialty paper it's a Tim Holtz die and added some ribbon to the top and then it says hocus pocus I have some enamel dots and little bats um, I added a tie closure because I added some sequins in there too and I didn't want it to pop open so I added a little tie closure with the boo ribbon and then these are some bows from Eva and a little plastic green spider. I love how this came out. Just a fun way to reuse things and to recycle and make your own creative packaging. Um, this is some more packaging that I made. Um, I have it in here just to protect it um, in shipping but I altered this little um, Damas craft bag. I made a shaker for the background with some gold polka dot tulle and neon orange thread. Um, I forget which collection this is from. I don't remember the name off the top of my head but I use these little witch frames. I have a little doily, Halloween doily, little bat stickers. Um, this is like a little stitch banner ephemera I have these cute little gold jemmies and then I have some silver ones and then I have a little ruffled the little ruffled paper strip and then the gathered like the rosette kind of strip little candy corn there's some gold thread um, some little black lace tucked under there it says you're bewitching with some more bling a little yellow spider from a little ring and then I have another little I have a little eyelet in there to have a little bead dangle and I have a little itty bitty jingle bell on there um, and then it's just held closed with a black glittery clothes pin and I don't know I forget what was in here I think I did some other packaging in here yes so um, I gifted her this photo play ephemera, but the the package it was in wouldn't fit in my bag. So I got so mad because I wanted to give it to her. So I just broke it up and I put the frames in here and I just stapled the, this was the outside of the packaging so she knows what it's from. And this is all just reused packaging. I also gifted her these vintage dimensional Halloween postage stamp stickers and again it's just a frame and some ephemera and things and I just stapled it on there and then here's the rest of that ephemera and this is reused packaging that somebody gifted to me and another swap and things I think Marissa made this so there's that piece um, and then pretty much those are the main like hocus pocus things. Um, some other of the handmade pieces that are going into the swap is I made a little um, embellishment cube with the containers. Oops, I'm not even in frame. Embellishment cubes from the containers from Michaels. Um, and I just have a rosette on there. Um, and I added um, one of the Halloween points that has, oh no, my spider fell off. I'll have to glue that. Um, some spiders and the leaves. 
and then it's just full of a bunch of different goodies and things. So I will fix that. Um, so that's another piece I made. And then I also have some other embellishments in here. Um, I'm gifting that I put together. Let me pull them out. You'll see that I did some other ones, which you'll see in another video. This is a bag, oh, like a witchy bag topper. It's on a spiderweb die cut. I have some creep, um, the, um, not creepy cloth, the um, green spider webbing, this um, owl cutout, a little potion bottle, star, some like bubbles, a bat, and then it says poison, um, a little, um, oh my God, a crystal ball. And then I have these little like neon yellow spikes. And then I have an eyelet and a wand and a little bead. Really cute, so there's that one. And then I made a couple of these cats. And he gifted me these stamped and cut out cats. So I kind of just added some glitter and added a little pom-pom. And I glittered up and added rhinestones to the flowers. Um, gave her some eyelashes, added a little hair bow. And then I also gave her some ear piercings with some orange eyelets. A little witchy cat. And then I made a couple of these, which you'll see the rest in another video. They're just the little gathered paper strips. And I added some paper leaves and a rosette. And I had a bunch of foam. I have a bunch of foam and felt stickers, so I wanted to use them up. So I, the, all the bases of them were as a pumpkin, the little witch feet, and a witch hat with a bow, little pom-pom, a quote, and added some of the little spiky stickers on there. Really cute. So there's that one. And then this is already all packaged up, uh, reused some pieces, a little black cat clip, um, and a little witch bag. And I just made, um, it's already packaged up, but I decorated a couple envelopes so you can kind of see there's a little, there's a shaker on there, but you can see there's eyeballs and little witch. And then the other one is more of a, a vintagey one. I'm not going to untie it and everything, but that's another handmade piece I did. Um, I made a little one of those shaker envelopes, sequin envelopes, um, and I have some handmade notebooks and pencils in here for her. It's a little gift set. Um, I also made, I did some wire wrapping of my own, and um, I have some things like half packaged already, so I just have to kind of pull them up part a little bit. Um, so I upcycled this container someone gifted to me. Um, it already had like the boo or, or no, it had the spider web on it. And all I added, I added the everything else to it. So just some fun layering. Really cute. And then I just have some wired wrapped beads I've done, a few charms. And then I added some of those little confetti spiders with the rhinestones on them that I added myself. So really cute. So there's that. And then I also did some crepe paper trim, which I did, um, which I make every year. Um, this was the vintage black. It's like a layered black and orange. So I just packaged it up with a little witch clip and a tag. And and the last thing is I put together this little like little bag of things. The bag was a gift from Tiffany, and I'm just re-gifting it. Um, and in here, I have a couple pieces. I added some black tool for some filler. Um, I have this rosette. This topper I bought from uh, Lily. And there's confetti and stuff in there. And then I made this witch topper here with the little clothespin with the witch rosette, the bead dangle. And 
and then I put together some rosettes from for her. This is I reused the packaging, and that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for the packaging up the box video. Bye, guys.